This morning, we are joined by Michelle Millman from the local nonprofit Cancer Pathways. Thanks so much for being here with us today to talk about this. Thank you, Taylor, for having me. I'm sure this touches a lot of people because whether we like to admit or not, many of us have either fought and survived cancer or know somebody very close to them that is going through this. So when announcements like this happen, how do you support your family? Well, it's hard, you know, Princess Kate being such a worldwide figure, for her it's a whole different issue, of course, with needing to come out and say something to people about it because all the speculation, where is she, why aren't we seeing her? But for those of us not in that world, there are so many resources to turn to, and a lot of times people newly diagnosed don't realize that. I'm sure Princess Kate, as we're seeing here, does have a lot of support with the royal family, but still, it is so tough to get that diagnosis, not only Taylor for the person who just received this devastating news, yeah. but it affects the entire family. And in some cases, a community it affects, if it's a teacher or a coach or something like that. So it really does affect more than just the person who's received that news. Yeah, and a lot of times people don't like to ask for help whether mm. they need it or not. So what can you do to kind of steer them in that direction or just show up? Well, it's great to show up as a friend and just ask someone, what can I do for you? I'm a two-time cancer survivor, yes. and I know I tell people who ask me after their friends have been diagnosed, uh, what do I say to them? And just ask, what do you need from me? And sometimes it's, it's overwhelming for someone newly diagnosed. Um, if we talk about resources in our community at Cancer Pathways, we have wonderful support groups that support the cancer patient, the newly diagnosed, the survivor, uh, care Caregivers. And Taylor, as I talked about earlier, it's those caregivers sometimes that really, I mean, of course, the cancer patient's taking on the brunt of it, but it's really difficult on the caregiver. So we have wonderful support groups regarding that. And then we also have, sadly, bereavement groups if someone passes from, yeah. from cancer. And we've just, uh, just started a, um, hold with me here, a best medicine support group. Um, I know cancer is not funny, but for those of us who've been through it, yeah. Sometimes you do need to laugh or you'll be crying. So this is kind of in lieu of laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. So one of our, our um, facilitators is a former SNL writer and he's a <laughs> former comedian. And he started this best medicine group and so many people from his support group went into that one as well and they're learning stand up and improv and it's gonna culminate in hopefully a show at the end of this year with cancer patients doing comedy. So it just helps them get through a really difficult time. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah, definitely giving them something else to focus on. Right. For sure. Right. Um, to perfect. So when you think about certain cancers, you know, there's ones that it seems like science knows a lot mm. about them. Things like breast cancer, for, for instance. Um, so knowing what we know about Kate, she had a stomach surgery and all of a sudden she has announced now that she is is um, going through preventative chemo. Mm -hmm. When it comes to stomach cancers, is there a lot of science behind the treatment or is it still one of those ones that can be like difficult? I don't know regarding stomach cancers and, mm -hmm. and what she went through for that surgery. I know before I had my surgery wasn't stomach cancer, thyroid and then breast cancer the following year. Uh, they knew already that I had cancer so I did the chemo. But for other ones, again, not a doctor and don't know what Princess Kate is dealing with. Yeah. But let's say it's something like a hysterectomy and then they do that pathology on it after not knowing that anything was there. So she had something regarding that. It, the stomach is what she's saying yeah where then they did the pathology to be to be safe and then it came back oh there's some cancerous cells here mm -hmm. so let's do some preventative chemo just to make sure we get it all mm -hmm. it sounds like from what she announced the other day that that is what happened that went in for a surgery and then they did yeah. more testing yeah all right Michelle Melman thank you so much for being here with us today can you tell us where to get more information about cancer pathways you know I can cancerpathways.org and we offer Taylor just quickly so many resources for people yeah. who need it like I talked about the support groups mm -hmm. therapeutic camp for kids whose parents are going through something so head to cancerpathways.org and hopefully we can help you so no one faces cancer alone yes Michelle thank you thank you